up your looks. That wasn't supposed to happen. Anyway, it was just fast forward that. So, what's going on, people? NGS back again for another video. Just let me lower that down for a second. Uh, for any of you guys who are wondering what the song is, it is Be Strong by Kana Yazumi from Kenichi the Mightiest Disciple. Um, for any of you guys who've checked my Twitter, you know I just started watching it on Netflix, and I gotta say, it is a really good show. I started reading the manga, my friend let me borrow it, and um, yeah, I'm really enjoying it. It's really funny, and yeah, just go watch for yourself to get the full um, inkling of it. You'll understand. But anyway, like I said in uh, my previous vlog, I've got a Blu-ray update for you guys, and this is, I believe, the sixth take I've done. It's literally taking so long because I either run out of shit to say, run out of time, or I just say, oh, fuck it, turn off the camera. So, hopefully this time around I can fit it under 15 minutes. If we're lucky, maybe even 10. Maybe. But, oh, my favorite part of the song is coming up. Nah, but we gotta finish it under. So, okay, let's start it with the first pickup on the list, and that is Disney Pixar's The Incredibles for the first time on Blu-ray. Uh, this is one of the few Pixar films left to be, I believe there's only one more left, to be um, released on Blu-ray. Fishes. Yeah, everybody knows where that movie is. Um, and I was really happy when this one came out because The Incredibles is in my top five favorite Pixar films. Be just because it's not like the other Pixar films. Like, you know, it's not about, you know, anamorphic animals or bugs or toys. It's dealing with, you know, real life um, problems, you know? And uh, it really honestly didn't feel like a Pixar film at first. It felt like something out of DreamWorks, you, you know what I'm saying? But, hey, DreamWorks rarely does the quality that Pixar does. I mean, the only DreamWorks film that I've seen that actually is really, really good on par with Pixar would have to be uh, How to Train a Dragon and um, even more so Monsters vs. Alien. Everything else, like after Shrek, um, after Shrek 2, the franchise went down and... Um, that I really haven't seen anything others. I may have seen like the ones here and there, but not really a lot of DreamWorks. But i um, really glad this is released on Blu-ray. You know, you get a bunch of extras. The movie itself looks really great in HD, so if you love The Incredibles, definitely check it out for a second time on Blu-ray. Um, the next two films are ones that really, the, for some reason they're aired all the time on TV, but with the first one, I come in in the beginning, I watch 20 minutes and then I don't see the middle, then I come in at the end and watch the end of it, but I've never seen the full, you know, length of the movie and that is um, surprising because they always play it on FX, like every single day, at least once a day <laughs> or something. And that movie is Night at the Museum and its sequel, Night at the Museum Battle of the Smithsonian. Uh, Target had these on sale, it was buy one Blu-ray, get another one free, and this one was 10 bucks, so I picked this one up. And, um, yeah, so, this is played all the time on FX, and I'm surprised that I haven't caught it. I catch glimpses of it here and there, and I'm like, eh. I tried watching it, but I ended up falling asleep. See, maybe I should stop watching movies at 4 a.m. in the morning before I go to sleep. Anyway, and, uh, the second one, I, I have heard nothing on it so far. I've heard no reviews. Um, so, you know, I'm gonna go into this not saying, not hearing anything, so maybe I'll like it or not. But, uh, these two... Can't really say anything much on it. I think this Blu-ray case is broken because I dropped it so many times. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, another movie that I really haven't watched, I don't know why I haven't, because, you know, this one seems pretty nifty and sweet, um, is a movie starring a well-known Korean pop idol. Uh, I believe he's the most popular male um, K-pop idol. And uh, he was recently in a movie, I believe around a year to two years ago. Yeah. And that is uh, Ninja Assassin. I was about to say Ninja Gaiden for a second. Because I'm like, you see like the chain, you see the blood everywhere. And I'm like, oh, they even kind of look alike. Not really, but I haven't watched this one either. I've heard mixed reviews on it. I've heard pretty decent things. Like, you know, it's a good uh, popcorn flick where you can watch it and like go like, wow, look at all that decapitation. Man, that shit looks so cool. You know, so I'll give it a chance. And Teenagers by My Chemical Romance. Yeah, my PS3 is on... Um, random of the songs I play so you might be hearing this and then it might jump to like a Spanish song and then it might jump to you know an opera so I'm just saying you know my range of music varies greatly um, okay and another movie that I am um, really glad that I picked up if people were to what's the word look back at our generation like you know how every generation like decades has their own um, film franchise that people are gonna remember of all time I think if people were to 
chronologize the buys of pies our film franchise for horror this would be up there and that is saw i am really happy that i finally got to see saw <laughs> see saw no it's not funny at all because you know everyone was saying such great things about the saw franchise when it first came out you know and i believe the franchise has ended so you know I wanted to start back at the beginning. I didn't watch anything. I didn't watch want to watch anything and go like, oh, I don't get what's going on. So I picked up the first one at Target, and I'm really glad I did because this movie is phenomenal. It is really, really good, you guys. If you haven't seen it, definitely check it out. The tone of the movie is how far would you go to save the person you love? Like in the main character, he's put through these trials and these tests, you know, if he wants to get out and see his family, you know? Um, so I really liked that. It reminded me a lot of Heavy Rain, you know, Heavy Rain with the trials that Ethan has to go through. I won't say anything much for any of you guys who haven't played Heavy Rain, but there's a similarity between Saw and Heavy Rain in there, in that, um, retrospect of Save Somebody. Um, so it's really cool, and also, I didn't even expect this, but how freaking awesome is it that the Blu-ray is <laughs> an actual Saw? Look at that. Freaking amazing. So... I'm going to be picking up Saw 2 eventually, but I don't know if I'm going to collect the whole series because I have heard the quality of the movies goes down after number 4, you know, so I'm like, probably going to stick with the, the main 3 and maybe get 4 a rent and then, you know, check out the rest as a rent, you know, because if the quality of the movies has gone down, then I'm like, there's no point buying them, you know? Okay. And the last film that is not in the slipcase um, is a film that came out around 2005, 2006, and when it was first released, you know, it got, generally, it was good reviews, but the reviews only cater toward, you're gonna like this if you um, are a fan of this franchise. In this case, it was a video game. And what's the next song? Alumina by Nightmare, Death Note Ending 1. Okay, this, they say that, the critics said that this one will only appeal if you are a fan of this certain video game. You know, and I watched it, and I generally did enjoy it, but it wasn't the fact that it appealed more towards the video game players. It was just the fact that the storytelling was not as good. There were certain scenes that felt rushed, they felt left out, they didn't explain it. So, with the Blu-ray release, this time around, the company has actually gone back and fixed most of those things. Most of the things that people had a problem with. And after watching it again, this movie, generally as a whole, is a lot better. And that is Final Fantasy VII Advent Children Complete. Now, I don't care what anybody says. If you say that, oh my god, what's the point of watching Final Fantasy on Blu-ray? It's only prettier to look at. No. If you run into people who say that the only reason to buy this is just because it looks pretty in 1080p, they actually, they haven't watched the full movie then. Because not only is this music, the movie gorgeous, uh, just gotta point it out there, anything Square does, visually, looks phenomenal. I mean, Final Fantasy XIII, that was a bore fest to play, I mean, the story was decent, you know, the gameplay was on rails, but the graphics were beautiful. I'm, I already stated that before, just stating that again. But, not only is it beautiful to look at on Blu-ray, Square Enix has gone back and added 30 minutes of deleted scenes incorporated into the movie. And those 30 scenes, let me see, yeah, 26 minutes, 30 minutes, you know, whatever. Um, they actually help move the movie forward, you know, it helps tell a better story, you know, because there were some scenes with two certain characters in the beginning, and you're wondering how the hell they got back to where they are because we thought they were dead. But they actually explained a lot of stuff there, they gave more screen time to Cloud to develop his character beyond the whole... Mimo. You know, they actually made him like, oh, I like him this time around. So, if you are gonna, if you've ever seen Advent Children again and you want to watch it again, go for the Blu-ray release. And if you've never seen Advent Children before, then definitely, for the first time, watch it on Blu-ray. You're generally gonna get a better movie-going experience if you see it on Blu-ray. It does look beautiful. <laughs> you, you always have to add that. Okay, let's see. I've got four more things to show before we end the video. Uh, the next two items were from Amazon.co.uk, which I just realized you can actually purchase a lot of items from there and have them shipped to your house. You know, I thought it was only a regional thing, but looks like stumbling across the wrong branch of Amazon really paid off because Blu-rays are one thing on Amazon that really go for cheap. I mean, I see some of the sales on this. Like, they have a bunch of, like, movie sets like trilogies, like the Bourne series, the Batman series, you know, um... Uh, you know, other stuff, you know, 
And um, I saw these two certain franchises um, on sale for about nine pounds a piece. I forgot how that translates into American dollars, but way cheaper than the American counterparts of these, you know. So they were both based on comic book movies. Comic book. <laughs> they're both based off comic books. And in total, there are seven movies here. So the first box set to start out with is the Spider-Man High Definition Motion Picture Trilogy from Sony and Columbia Pictures. Huzzah! Yeah. So, like it says here, you're getting all three of the Spider-Man films from Sony. You know, Spider-Man 3, Spider-Man 2, and Spider-Man 1. Both Spider-Man 1 and 2, this is their first time being released in high definition. Um, I just have to order a word of warning. For anybody who's interested in picking this up, this is available outside of U Europe, of course. You might be disappointed with this because both Spider-Man 1 and 2 are bare-bones releases. They are only the movies themselves. I if you want to count Spider-Man 2's 8 minutes of deleted scenes incorporated, that's something. But you're not getting all of the cool features you got in the first and second Spider-Man movie. So that is a downsider, you know. But it's common for Blu-ray um, releases. They always release the bare-bones first, and then they come out with the fancy smash special edition after you spent your money on it. Lord of the Rings, anybody? Yeah, finally coming out with the extended edition. Great job. Um, so, if you wanted to see the movies in high definition, Spider-Man 3 does have all its extras, though, so whatever. Um, then you should definitely pick it up for cheap because they're going for like 15 bucks on the UK site. But I'd recommend waiting for the special edition version to come out because that's going to be the more complete version. So, yeah, that's that. And um, the next one is the X-Men Quadrilogy. Unlike the Spider-Man trilogy, all of the extras from all four movies have carried over to the Blu-ray release. And I really have to give it up for 20th Century Fox. Because I thought they would milk the hell out of the franchise. But they didn't. They actually gave the extras. And what's about to play next? The World. We're on the death note part then. Um, so all the extras from X-Men 1, X-Men 2, the film that shall not be named, and Origins Wolverine are here. And guys, there is days worth of extras on here. I'm not even done with the first X-Men's extras. So, X-Men's extra, that, that sounds cool. I'm not even done with that. And it's great stuff, you guys. I mean, a lot of behind the scenes stuff. Even on the film that should not be named extras, you've got like an hour long documentary about the origins of the X-Men comics, how they went along, the various series and spin-offs, how it jumped from um, comic book writer to comic book writer. And it was really some in-depth stuff and I really enjoyed it. So. Um, definitely check, pick this up because it's the most complete version so far. And this is also, I believe this is not available outside of Europe because in America we only have the trilogy, but this is the quadrilogy, it's all four films. So you're getting it at a cheaper price and all four of the films so far. Of course not first class because that just came out. But definitely happy with this one. Okay, I got two minutes left and the last two films that I got were from Costco. I was just shopping around for, um, you know, food, had to pick up some food for the house, and I saw these two items there for $10 a piece, and I'm like, is this like a joke, or this was this mis mislabeled? And surprisingly it wasn't, and they are both digibooks, I believe these are called digibooks, if they aren't then correct me. Um, the first one is Taxi Driver starring Robert De Niro, really, really, really love this film, this film is amazing, it's so good, I don't want to say anything more because I want you to see it for yourself, but it's a really beautiful set. Just look at that. And it also comes with a lot of um, scenes and pictures from like the set and various movie posters and such. And um, yeah, that's great. I gotta speed this up. And the next one was also for $12. And I'm like, hot damn. Close Encounters with the Third Kind. And this is the one that has like all the extras, all three versions, the theatrical version, special edition, director's cut. And it's put together on this beautiful, you've got this manual, not this manual, it's like a book that details a lot about the directors and the cast and crew and what went on. And then you've got the digi book, which is nice holographic. You open it up, you've got a timeline of the entire movie from all three versions. Two disc Blu-ray edition, it's really, it's, it's really phenomenal. You know, I still haven't watched it yet. You know, just based off how good the special edition looks. I can't wait to see the movie. Well, all three of them anyway. So you guys, that was my Blu-ray update. Surprisingly fit in under 15 minutes. So I want to thank you for watching this video. I'm NGS signing out and I'll catch you guys later.